Section 1 of Beowulf. This reading by Tad E. Beowulf by Unknown. Translated by Francis Barton Gamere. Prelude. Lo, praise of the prowess of people kings, of spear armed Danes in days long sped. We have heard, and what honor the athelings won. Oft shilled the shaving from squandered foes. From many a tribe the mead bench tore, awing the earls. Since erst he lay friendless and foundling, fate repaid him, for he waxed under welkin, and wealth he throve. Till before him the folk, both far and near, who house by the whale path heard his mandate, gave him gifts, a good king he. To him an heir was afterward born, a son in the halls whom heaven sent to favor the folk feeling their woe that erst they had lacked an earl for leader so long a while the lord endowed him the wielder of wonder with worlds renowned famed was this beowulf far flew the boast of him son of Scyld in the scandian lands so becomes it a youth to quit him well with his father's friends by fee and gift that to aid him aged and after days come warriors willing should war draw nigh liegemen loyal by lauded deeds shall an earl have honor in every clan forth he fared at the fated moment sturdy shield to the shelter of god then they bore him over to ocean's billow loving clansmen as late he charged them while wielded words the winsome shield the leader beloved who long had ruled in the rockstead rocked a ring dight vessel ice flecked outbound atheling's barge there laid they down their darling lord on the breast of the boat the breaker of rings by the mast the mighty one many a treasure fetched from far was freighted with him no ship have i known so nobly dight with weapons of war and weeds of battle with breastplate and blade on his bosom lay a heaped hoard that hence should go far o'er the flood with him floating away no less these loaded the lordly gifts thanes huge treasure than those had done who in former time forth had sent him soul on the seas a suckling child high o'er his head they hoisted the standard a gold wove banner let billows take him gave him to ocean Grave were their spirits, mournful their mood, no man is able to say in sooth, no son of the halls, no hero neath heaven, who harbored that freight. 1. Now Beowulf bowed in the burge of the Shildings, leader beloved, and long he ruled in fame with all folk, since his father had gone away from the world till awoke an heir, haughty Halif Dana, who held through life, sage and sturdy, the shildings glad then one after one there woke to him the chieftain of clansmen children four Haragar, then hrothgar then haga brave and i heard that blank was blank's queen the hetho skilfing's helpmate dear to hrothgar was given such glory of war such honor of combat that all his kin obeyed him gladly till great grew his band of youthful comrades it came in his mind to bid his henchmen a hall uprear, a master mead-house, mightier far than ever was seen by the sons of earth. And within it, then, too, old and young, he would all allot that the Lord had sent him, save only the land and the lives of his men. Wide, I heard, was the work commanded, for many a tribe this mid-earth round to fashion the folkstead it fell as he ordered in rapid achievement that ready it stood there of halls the noblest hey o rot he named it whose message had might in many a land not reckless of promise the rings he dealt treasure at banquet there towered the hall high gabled wide the hot surge waiting of furious flame not far was the day when father and son-in-law stood in feud for warfare and hatred that woke again with envy and anger an evil spirit endured the dull in his dark abode that he heard each day the din of revel high in the hall there harps rang out clear song of the singer he sang who knew tales of the early time of man how the almighty made the earth fairest fields enfolded by water 